Alright, so we can just make a quick run for it, because the only thing that's in our way is Sluggoos, and they don't seem to care too much about us. I mean, they might care a little bit, but it's fine. We're past them, everything's good. Don't have to worry about the hall with all the werewolves. Because they're just hanging out. That chandelier is gone forever. And we continue on. Watch out for this boy. He'll trick you. He's dead. Alright, so now we have to go into the Grand Cathedral, I guess. Alright, so this is like where we found the, um... The Black Sky Eye. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Black Sky Eye. Eh, there it is. In the uh, Hunter's Nightmare. Or I guess it was the Research Hall at that point. So we got... What was it called? Loom Wood? Almost looks like they are not in bloom, right? They're buds. Also, there's nothing really going on in here. Never mind. Boss, Celestial Emissary. Just looks like a bunch of losers, if you ask me. Oop, that was not a good attack. That wasn't either. Uh oh. Not really doing damage, am I? Also, they uh, sure tricked me into a combo. Okay. So this is not working, is it? Maybe we need to figure something else out. Maybe this boss has a gimmick of some kind. Like finding the one that doesn't attack you and smashing him. The ones that don't the one that doesn't attack you is just the actual boss, so. Crazy. Crazy gimmick. Main thing here is just to maybe. Oh, they're not him. Where'd he go? Good hit. Main thing here is just to make sure you don't get surrounded. Because as easy as these guys tend to be, if you're not careful, you might get a... Uh, bodied. This boss is not hard, per se. But... He does have a second form. And now he's big boy, and now he's ready to party. Can I... Nope, that didn't work out. I feel like I can, though, but... Okay, maybe I shouldn't even bother. That was a mistake. I don't think he shoots, does he? Oh no, corners are bad. Oh, maybe he does shoot. He looks like he's ready to shoot me. Okay, main thing here too is just maybe kite all the little ones around you so you don't uh, get surrounded. And then just kill them and everything's easy. Uh, so yeah, easy boss. Not, um, not hard in the slightest. If you don't know the, I guess, gimmick, it could be difficult to find a way to beat them because you're like oh I, just nothing's happening uh and then don't get stuck in the corner first time i fought these guys i ended up like i was doing fine but i ended up stuck in like this corner here and then you just get it hit a bunch and there's not much you can do at that point because they do enough of them all together does hit hard anything fun over here yeah that's as far as, like, top easiest Bloodborne bosses, that's up there with, uh, Witches of Hemwick. And then, I don't know, living failures aren't that hard, just... 
patience and crowd control is a bit neat. Like, Living Failures is like a harder version of this, which doesn't really mean much because this wasn't too hard. But yeah, we're done with the area and there's nothing else for us to do here. JK, if you remember in the research hall, there was this lovely window. And we're just going to kind of jump in here and just see what's going on. So we're above the Grand Cathedral. It's, again, it's the same setup as the research hall, so I'm sure that's connected in some way. Which way, I'm not entirely positive, because... Oh, call beyond. There's a lot of, again, lore to be found in Bloodborne, so... It's kind of a lot that you have to... Remember. Anyone else? Oh, yeah, there you are. I thought I remembered the guy that showed up being... The one with crazy... Crazy hair. <clears throat> Forgive me for panicking there a little bit. I wasn't sure if his projectile was still going to hit me. And if it was, then that was just going to hurt. Uh, so everything seems fine right here. Let's look at a call beyond. Which will be a spell that we'll never be able to use because you need 40 arcane to use it. One of the secret rites of the choir, long ago the healing church used phantasms to reach a lofty plane of darkness, but failed to make contact with the outer reaches of the cosmos. The rite failed to achieve its intended purpose, but instead created a small exploding star, now a powerful part of the choir's arsenal. At times, failure is the mother of invention. Fantastic. Just make our way down here. Got some baby sluggoos. Gotta kill them so they don't get me. Who are you? Damien of Mensis. Hey, that's that place we didn't visit. And hey, look at this. So if those sluggoos didn't make it apparent, this is what everyone was staring at. The sluggoos, that one person that was making contact. The Altar of Despair. What a lovely name. So this was... This is like directly behind the Grand Cathedral. Also, I just realized that my uh, blood vials and I guess Quicksilver doesn't matter, but my blood vials are like that. Those extra six might make or break a situation. Probably not. I'm sure I'm going to just die here. I wanted to see if that deeper water was going to affect anything. I wanted to make sure I didn't have to learn how to deal with things. Look at this thing. Look at this macaroni head. I wanna I wanna take a beautiful picture of it. Gimme give, give me a minute. Uh what get rid of that display HUD. Look how beautiful this game is without a display HUD. gross face and it looks like it is oh yeah um i guess spoilers that's its face it's praying at what looks like the corpse of rom or a rom anyways uh i want to maybe get my hud back on so i can see how quickly i'm dying which i don't know exactly what that means for it but okay time to uh I guess get in there. I would have tried to go visceral, but I don't think you're actually doing damage to it quite yet. There we go. Once that health bar comes in, that's when damage happens. 
Or am I? I'm just in it. Uh, this is apparently the best place to be. <laughs> oh no, am I just cheesing it? I was cheesing it until I'm not now. Uh, now it's a real fight. So I got a little bit of cheese. Oh! That charge is supposed to suck. Okay, whatever that was also sucks. Give me those head hits. Get me out of whatever corner this is. Ooh! The rock saved me from that charge. Okay, I was kind of thinking maybe the rock would save me, like, in general. Ooh, close one. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, we're good. I I got a little greedy there. I want to get the head. Because the head's the weak point. Okay, well, that charge does hurt, and it's kind of hard to see when you're, like, inside of her. By the way, Abretus, the daughter of the cosmos. Okay, oh, okay. Well, frenzy's gonna happen, huh? And that grab's gonna try to get me. Okay. Can you not, Frenzy? Frenzy sucks. Alright, I'm gonna need to get something with Frenzy Resist. If I, uh, can... Good. What you doing? Second phase, I think. Ooh. What is happening? Oh, I'm out of blood. Oh, that's what's happening. She's also doing some weird thing. I don't like... That grapple would have totally killed me. Oh, I'm done now. See, told you, out of blood. I think that was going okay. I'm telling you, those six blood vials, they would have made the difference. Uh, so prior to the DLC, Abriatus was supposed to be, I think, the hardest boss in the game. At least I think she was mostly considered the hardest boss. So let's maybe re-kit ourselves just a little bit. Uh, Frenzy Resist seems like it would be a good idea. I think the Crow Hunter... Yeah, I think the Crow Hunter stuff has the most Frenzy Resist. Wait... Graveyard Guard has better. Wait! Hunter Garb has better. Huh. I would not expect that. Wait! Ashen Hunter Garb! <laughs> it's just a game of looking at everything until you get... Like, the best... Stats. I don't, I don't even care about anything else. I just want that Frenzy Resist. Because if I have a decent amount of that, there's a chance I could survive a, um, I guess, a hit from it. And, I mean, if it doesn't work out, then I guess I'll back to square one, but we'll see. Uh, back to hats. Yeah, I, th I think I'm good. I think... I mean, this is a weird looking, <laughs> this is a weird outfit, but I think this is fine. 
Uh, I don't know if I will use it, but bolt paper is effective against beasts. Uh, not beasts. That's the opposite. Bolt paper is effective against, uh... Oh, shoot, I just realized I didn't make the elevator easier for me. Also, I can't believe how much I struggled against this guy. Um, so bolt paper might be a good option. I don't know if I'll use it, but I guess I'll have it on my hotbar just in case if I feel like it. Two hits did it. Good dodge, you fucker. Wanted to make sure I was getting those hits in just in case. Look at us, looking, looking snazzy. Watch this frenzy resist not even help. Part of the problem too is insight actually makes your frenzy resistance lower than usual. I'm not gonna worry about you guys, just gonna run right in. If I, I don't know where my blood is. It's not my blood, is it? She doesn't seem like she's too bothered by me right now. Can I sneak attack her? I might not be able to grab my blood. If I walk slowly. Can you just do this? Oh, kind of. Shit. Probably shouldn't back off like that. Oh, close one. I kind of did an extra dodge there out of fear. The side seems like a good place. Main- oh fuck. Well, that didn't hit too hard. Shit, that hit hard. And that hit hard too. So that's kind of why- So I read about the charge and why it's kind of sucky. The um- the brunt of it, like her body and head, don't actually cause that much damage compared to her tentacles on the sides. So to be frank, it might have been better if I didn't even dodge that, but I, I mean my health was low enough that it probably was necessary. Um, the main thing though with that is that if you try to dodge to the side and it fails, you are probably going to just die because the tentacles do way more damage. Let's see if just trying to make our way. Nope, that kind of sucks. So we probably want to kill those guys. Especially when that happens. <laughs> Actually, that didn't even hurt me. That was just funny. The, the guy just fell on me. Let's try a sneak attack again. I like the epic music as this just isn't quite happening yet. Uh, I might have just gotten a little too close where I was like, I made her realize I was there. Since the church pick has enough range though, I might be able to get that sneak hit in. There we go, sneak hit. Yeah, I, I got greedy. I knew I got greedy. I'm in her. I'm in her butt. Nope. Out of her butt. Shit. Get me up.
Get me back in ya. Yeah. Getting greedy. That greed's gonna probably cost me. There we go again. It's like I know what's coming a little too late. I'm in her again. Also, maybe locking on is not the best option. I'm gonna put that out there now. If you, like, get right in her butt, she can't do anything. Which is a crude thing to say, I guess, but it's true. I think that was a charge. And I mentioned it before, her head is her weak point. Shit, fuck you. Not what I thought you were going to do. I think I can get a visceral. Nope, never mind. M might have been a greedy hit. Where am I? Get me somewhere. No. Fuck. Frenzy might happen. Hopefully not. Okay. This is a terrible corner. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit of an angry one. Okay. That's the grapple. Alright, maybe we can get back in there. Okay. But the frenzy resist was helpful. Oh shit. Where am I? Oh, what was that? I feel like... Shit. Using too much... That lock-on was bad, and that charge was bad. Damn it. Well, I was like right in her body, and that still killed me, but... Good damage! Bolt paper probably would have helped. Locking on is uh, not a good idea, as, as you can see by how hard it was to actually tell what was happening throughout that fight. I was definitely using too much blood vials there. Um, the thing with bolt paper, I didn't check, I should have looked to see. Hopefully the Cosmo badge uh, made it so I can buy bolt paper, so if I use up too much of it, it won't go to waste. Maybe I'll wait till the second phase to... Oh, God, fuck off. Camera. I need to not rely on lock-on, because that didn't help me. All right, going in with a little bit of damage, but not too much. Like, I've mentioned it before. I hate that it flips your head direction when you're, like, apparently not where an enemy is. Maybe we'll just go ham with bolt paper. We'll give it a shot. We'll see. At least we'll try once more. So can you believe, first time I played this game, I beat Ebrietta on my uh, first try? I wouldn't. I mean, like, I might have been as over level as I kind of am now. So I guess, like, having a weapon that I'm more familiar with, I was able to kind of do... Well, not in... There we go. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck off. Get that extra heal in the soap. We don't die right away. Shit. So see, that didn't do too much damage to me, right? Or like, I mean, it did a good chunk of damage, but I was kind of... 
I just want to make sure I'm not going to die. Out of bolt. Also, it was way too inside of you there. Ah, oh, blood. Good hit. Also need to not lock on there. Good corner. Except now. Damn it. Give me give me out. Give me somewhere safe. That's not safe. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Part of the reason why you don't want to. Come on, they're dead. We did it. Easy. Push off that coat. Uh, so, kind of lucky there. Uh, that attack she was doing with the projectiles, if you got hit by that, you'd probably die. Running is your best solution. I think it goes for like three hits, and I'm kind of surprised that I didn't get hit by a third one, because I know I got hit by her tentacle as she was getting ready for that third hit. But it worked out. I'm glad I decided to use bolt paper there. We finished the zone... Let's maybe switch back to, I don't know. Let's go back to Maria's set, I guess. For now, anyways, we'll probably switch out pretty quick. Not bad, short zone. We got one last thing. I guess we can also read the chalice. I don't know how much lore these really have going for them. I don't even know if I read them before, but let's read it. Chalice that breaks a labyrinth seal. Great chalices unlock deeper reaches of the labyrinth. The great is chalice. Uh, chalice became the cornerstone of the choir, the elite delegation of the healing church. It was also the first great chalice brought back to the surface since the time of Bergenworth and allowed the choir to have audience with Ebriatus. If you remember too, and I don't know how you would remember because it's been a bit, but one of the magic items we have is uh, the auger of Ebriatus. Let's read that again. Remnant of the Eldritch Truth encountered at Bergenworth. Use Phantasm Vertebrae known as Augur of the Great One to par partially summon abandoned Ibriatus. The initial encounter marked the start of an inquiry into the cosmos from within the old labyrinth and led to the establishment of the choir. So yeah, choir's... Choir had a big thing with Ibriatus. If you remember, one of the choir outfits mentioned that they had a... Had, like, a Great One just had one we can uh offer the flesh here time flows in reverse for the scrap of flesh um so that flesh was the flesh of the vile blood queen so maybe we should go and see what that did i'm sure it did something oh well would you look at that all this blood's still here, but it looks like we brought back our queen. Arrant fool. Vile blood or no, forget not. We are thy queen. Bend the knee. Well, excuse me. That's all just find a spot if I can figure out where you bend the knee at. Closest of kin. Bearer of our blood. I welcome thee. What is thy wish? I don't know. I thought you would be able to say something about me bringing you back to life. I don't have blood drugs. I guess that's we await it. Thy return for the honor of Cainhurst. So we brought back the queen. And there's nothing else to really gain from this encounter. But it's cool if you want to do vile blood stuff. Kind of sucks that we uh, ruined the whole plotline 
that revolved around the executioners. At least our boy died feeling like he accomplished something. Uh. So, god damn it. Maybe. Let's get one more level up. Let's let's cheese out one more level up for ourselves. Uh, we need like what four? Uh, maybe if I say yes. Hello. Well, what is it? Very well. Let me. Give me that. Yes, that is as high as our health will go for now. Cause I don't. I think that's the soft cap. I could be wrong. Give you a nice little bow. Could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure that's the soft cap, though. So let's... I want to... Maybe not fortify. Uh, let's repair Whirly Gig and Holy Moonlight. We'll play Parablade of Mercy, too. We'll try using that in a different zone. And let's mess with our uh, Blood Gem Fortification for a minute. Because I think we're going to do something in the DLC... Not the zone, but something a little extra. So I want to kind of prepare just for a moment. Let's get that whirly gig. Let's get whirly gig up to snuff. So I feel like I feel like whirly gig's gonna be helpful in this area that we're gonna dredge into. Probably that one, right? Nope, that one. Nope, that one. It's the same thing, just trying your best to find the ones that'll make you incredibly powerful. And then, uh, where did my holy moonlight grow? You were with me all along. These are cursed. Those are definitely not what I want. I hope I didn't accidentally grab a cursed thing. Uh, reduce stamina cost. That sounds lovely, actually. 72, 78. We're gonna be strong. No one's gonna mess with us. I kind of wish Cursed was just in its own category. So we wouldn't have to like look at the ones that deplete stuff. Oh yeah, okay, this will be good. May uh, maybe I should actually equip those weapons now. Get that one on there and get Whirly Gig on there. We'll uh, give Holy Moonlight a shot. Obviously, Bolt Paper is not going to work. I don't think we really have anything that'll help us too much in this fight but that's fine don't worry about it i'm not worried about it oh uh, let us go back to the hunter's nightmare 